Here we are in the lower height. Hello, we have a sign there. Wow, what a crazy day. I'm actually going now to have a... This is going to be interesting. I'm going to be quite a changed man after that, I'm sure. In many ways, it's going to be an amazing experience. Flotation therapy. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's like where you are for about an hour. You are in a tank filled with water and uh, I guess salt where you can float. A combination of that. And that's going to be... Uh, wow. And it's dark because it's like in the tanks that close the lid. Oy, 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 oy. Wow, what a Friday. I only worked four hours though. Things have kind of changed, you know. I'm like, telemarketing is for me really not necessarily the thing I'm really, really good at. Selling people stuff there, like this. I used to be able to, do, I uh, was able to do that like a long time ago in Germany. I was totally on this trip, like business, you know, and selling stuff, marketing. Now I need really help with that. Lots of help when it comes to, uh, yeah, absolutely. I see we have a couple of books here. Sometimes I do this. Let's see what they have. What do we have here? Graphic inspirations and innovations, uh huh. Ah, oh, amazing. People just like, yeah, more than you know. Okay, yeah, more than you know. <laughs> Totally. It's all about the signs along the way. Angels. It's a great husband hunt. <laughs> well, I'm kind of like, uh, I was talking to Janikli earlier. Wow, ooh la la, I, like, I want to get married to her. She's beautiful, she loves me. And that's really what I want. And yeah, the thing about exploring women, and you know, I've, I've thought about this for a long time. It's gonna be very, very trippy, and very difficult for me, and for her. Because I know myself, I know who I am, and how I love women. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> and again, I only have been with, well, one woman I was married to for 12 years. And so that was a very, 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 very long time. This is where we're going to go downtown, and I'm just walking here. Because I have 20 minutes until the appointment is. I guess usually it's about 90 bucks an hour or so. And he lets me do it for free because he just wants me to try it. Ultimately, he's thinking about putting one of those tanks to at the 555. Let me actually say hi here. Hello. Putting one of those tanks at the 555 and having people like guests, people who come there, do that. And in order, because these tanks are pretty expensive, they're starting at $8,000 and they go up to $50,000. To have like a fundraising party for that, because that'll be amazing. So, uh, and actually now, I almost did not leave. And I got a call from the photographer, a photographer from Express Magazine, saying that he's going to come to the hostel, taking some pictures there. And so I called him up and saying that I have another obligation. I would have been there, but he said he's going to be there also on Tuesday at the meeting. Which, you know, just now in the beginning, to really become organized there, you have a regular group together. Totally. Also for me then to begin of the yeah, path of sharing what I've learned and it's about teaching. And let me just turn around here because you <laughs> showing you a little bit about the streets of San Francisco. Again, so interesting that this is the series. It's Carl Malden and, uh, no, I forgot his last name, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, That's that show. And here we are, and here I've been, as a matter of fact. It's very, very crazy. And also, I was just talking to Janique Lee, and I was telling her things about where I want to be in life, and in terms of money, and ooh -la -la, living a good life, absolutely. Oh, look at this, how pretty that is. Totally. These nice things you see everywhere. So nice. That's San Francisco for you, yeah? Kind of consider myself also like a tour guide. I was thinking also online, you know, to have like virtual travel tours to other communities. And like growing communities, like a garden to really make it nice and put nice plants there. And very, very cool. Mmm, smells good. And so yeah, it's been a very, very, very crazy day and it's been a very crazy three years that I've been here. Wow. Very, 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 very crazy. And now, now that I, well not, almost three months that I've met her. Three months ago. Janikle? A quarter of a year. Yeah, well, wow, it's amazing. And I get the sense always, every time I talk to her, there's something new because I don't know her and she doesn't know me. And that's really, in a way, we have the best thing to look forward to. That is really exciting. Wow. Ooh la la. 
Definitely ooh la la. It's quite amazing. Quite amazing. And so yeah, we'll see. And uh, well how it is in the meantime it was me and my well <laughs> very crazy. Well reality, life is how we deal with it. That's the key. You gotta deal with life. Many of us we duck our head in the sand somehow and we uh, we don't want to deal with life. We don't want to learn the lessons which are difficult for us to learn. We're just gonna put up a new uh, ad on Craigslist. Very, very good. Basically about that, you know, how you know everything we have learned is because of what we've learned. Everything we know, who we are as a result of that. If you're anxious, if you're depressed, so I was just talking to Janique, I understand. Just talk to her about that, who completely understands that. And it's so simple, any child would understand that. Whatever it is, we feel and we think, how we react. The worst serial killer, even Hitler, did what he did because of what he had learned. And what he wanted to do. I mean, his, our motivations spring from what we learn, don't they? And what we identify with. And what we uh, yeah, like as children. And then how we become. It's not really this chemical imbalancing when we say people are this and that, you know, and it's just like in the brain. <laughs> I mean, how do things happen? It's all because of experience we learn that. Most schizophrenic person is so because of what he or she has learned. And that's really the key awareness. To really uncover what it is we have learned. In order to really begin on the path of asking ourselves, yeah, what do I want to learn? Who do I want to become? What is this thing called life all about? How do I use my time? What are the choices I'm going to make? Am I going to make different choices? Am I going to learn things? To do things in a different way? To look at things in a different way? Or am I just going to stay stuck the way I am and I have become rather? Or am I able to open my eyes a little bit more to the reality around me? Including other people, accepting them for who they are. I mean that's the practice. The learning of how to see people, how to see ourselves in people. And how to be fully human, to give birth to that human essence within ourselves. This essence we share with all. No doubt about that. And so, uh, yeah, the conscious revolution, that's what it's all about. I welcome you. I welcome you to uh, the online experience, which definitely is that an experience. I just realized to actualize, you know, it's a whole new way of being, a whole new way of uh, learning. Absolutely. It's about paradigm shifting, thinking outside the box, educating ourselves, learning for ourselves, learning about others. That's the key. And it's like, you know, the thing when I'm going to go into this tank, because it's just me in there. And it's about how it feels. And ultimately that's what it's all, it's all about. How does it feel? And we all do what we do because it feels good. But sometimes even we do f things that are bad and that are hurting us, but there's something that we get out of it. I mean, we are psychologic psychologically, we're very, very uh, complicated, complex beings. How our mind works, and the reasons for why we do what we do, the, the underlying motives beyond motivation, uh, beyond beha beha behavior. The reason for why we act, react, our triggers. And so it's really about understanding that, learning about that. Absolutely. And being more comfortable within ourselves. Like I remember when I was in Kansas, and I was first using a voice recorder, how uncomfortable it was for me. And I didn't know what to say first. And I was walking around the parking lot, and people looked at me, and I kind of felt weird about that. And everybody, every time somebody looked at me, I was like turning this thing off. And now it's definitely, I, uh, yeah, it's second nature. Totally. It's fun. It's amazing. It's like, you know, you, you capture reality around you. You see things. And you share things. That's why talking is a good thing. I myself, you know, I'm very much an advocate. Uh, I'm pro-communication. You know, people talking, sharing. Because there are many who say, you know, people can talk too much. And, you know, it's... Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming when other people just unload and their story. And it's going nowhere. And we just basically continue talking about you know our pain of the past and the things we stay stuck talking I mean, that's what talk therapy is all about but also we promote in the conscious revolution he had realized to actualize it's about when we share ourselves when we express ourselves 
It's like we vent, we open ourselves up. And then when we do this with others who are able to receive us and practice openness, we can really come together and learn from and with one another. And that's the beauty of the conscious revolution. Anyway, thanks for uh, listening and I will be talking to you later. Thank you. Um, probably we'll be right back. Thanks. <laughs>